The Basics of Facebook Ads Facebook ads are used to get your brand in front of people and share your story or value proposition. Your goal with Facebook marketing is to create 1. Awareness Introduce your product or brand to the world with Facebook ads. Create a story around your product or brand that people will remember. Number two, consideration. Offer a value proposition that attracts potential customers to consider your brand or product. And third, conversion. Convert the customer, i.e. make the sale. Capture the email, whatever your conversion is. And then build ongoing customer loyalty that will keep these customers buying from you again and again. When creating an ad campaign on Facebook, these are your three marketing objectives. Awareness, consideration, and conversion. Selecting the type of marketing objective you want to run is the first step of your Facebook ad creation. With the power of Facebook ads, you can reach people based on their location, age, gender, interest, actions they have taken on your website or app, and many more things. So just go to business.facebook.com slash ads manager. Then click that create button on your Facebook ads manager page to create a Facebook campaign. So the first step of your ad creation is selecting this marketing objective. Whether if you want to get more people into your physical store via store traffic ads, more visitors to your website via traffic ads, or to like your Facebook page via engagement ads, Facebook has a marketing objective for every scenario and every type of ad you would ever want. So now we move from our first step of selecting our objective to the second step, the ad set. This is where we select the target audience we want to reach. As you can see, the options for reaching your target audiences are truly endless with Facebook ads, including custom audiences. For example, your email list, location-based, age, gender, language, detailed targeting, including demographics, interests, or behaviors. Your audience equals who sees your ad. The audience section of your Facebook ad campaign enables you to show your ads to people you think will care about your brand. There are two basic types of audiences. First, specific. This is targeting a small niche group of people with a potential ad reach between 1,000 and 1 million users. You can create this specific audience via strict parameters at nearly every option available under your audience section of your Facebook ad creation. The second type is broad. This is targeting a much larger group of people with a potential ad reach of 1 million plus users. Facebook ads implement a machine learning algorithm and use a ton of data to optimize your campaigns for who is most likely to click your ad. Just because you have a broad ad with a potential reach of 1 million plus users doesn't mean Facebook will serve your campaign to 1 million people. Facebook is using its algorithm to find the best users based on your budget. They want your ads to succeed so you keep paying them. So notice at this ad set level your total ad campaign potential reach change as you edit your audience. Right now, just targeting the US, age 18 to 65, both men and women, my potential reach is 230 million people. The detailed targeting step is one of the audience targeting options Facebook enables you to use to refine the group of people your ads are shown to. One interest I love to target is competitors' Facebook pages because typically, if people are engaging with my competitor's page, product, or service, they will most likely be interested in my similar brand. But as you can see, not all Facebook pages are available in this detailed targeting search result. 
and this is up to Facebook's discretion. So, you will have to rely on a broader targeting. Let me show you an example of a broad audience ad. So I'll create a broad audience targeting your entire customer location, age, and gender with no detailed targeting. And as you can see, my potential reach is at 74 million people targeting the United States, age 25 to 60, and just men. So there's my broad audience. So that will be a traffic ad. And any user that clicks that traffic ad, I'll create a custom audience of those users and then create a lookalike audience of that custom audience so I can retarget them in future ads for a more targeted audience option. I'll go into greater detail later on custom audiences and creating these lookalikes and retargeting audiences. But this is just a quick example of how you can use a broad audience, a potential reach of 1 million plus, to extract your potential customers. With Facebook ad targeting, you can really target your audience in so many ways, whether it's location or demographics, age or gender. We can target users' interests such as hobbies or recent activity searches. What do users do in their pastime? What is their career? What is their education? Target by their college or school. We can target behaviors like what websites they're searching or shopping on, what is their income level, what Facebook pages do they like or engage with. I love this targeting option because if there is a brand similar to yours that is most likely your competition, why not market directly to those people? See if you can pull some of those people away to your brand instead. So really sit down and define your target audience you should be able to describe your perfect customer down to the very little detail so you will be able to have greater success with Facebook ads. So with this course you will not only learn how to advertise to all these different audiences but also with accuracy and affordability. I am all about return on marketing investment. Making your dollar stretch is very viable with Facebook ads. So whether this is your first or 500th Facebook ad we'll be teaching you tips on how to get the best results from each type of ad. Which leads me to my final point, testing. I use A-B split testing to find out which type of ad or variable is converting the best with my audience. So again at that objective level, the first step, I just toggle on that create split test option. Again I'll go into great detail in this later. The key to Facebook ad optimization is testing. What I love about Facebook is that it has great built-in data reporting right in your Facebook ads manager so you can break down ads specifically by whatever your conversion metric is in order to see your results and your return on marketing investment. Did people engage with your ad? Which ad image did they engage with? Did people make a purchase? Did people opt into your email list? Whatever your conversion metric is, you can select that column or breakdown and measure it right here in your Facebook reporting. And now the final step we'll cover in this course is creating the actual Facebook ad. It is on this final step where I will teach you the strategies I use for creating actual Facebook ads that convert. Your goal is to create content, images, videos, and text that your potential customers will want to engage with when they see your ad. So to learn more about how to reach your future customers and fans, go to facebook.com slash business slash ads. So just one more thing before I go, I just wanted to show a difference. I just wanted to show you the ads manager user interface. Throughout the year 2020, Facebook is going to be updating this ads manager to a new user interface. So just know throughout this course I will be using that new interface but there's not much that changed. So as you can see in the menu here, Ads Manager, or on the Ads Manager page, the tabs for each level of your ad, the campaign level, the ad set level, the ads level, appear up here in the old user interface. 
in the new user interface, same thing, campaigns, ad sets, ads, but this, you had to select the campaign and then expand it over here to edit it at each level, campaign, ad set, ad. In the new user interface, you don't have to select it, you can, and click edit, but you have the option to look at it right here in this main user interface feed. So I can expand down, as you can see, this is the campaign level, below this, the ad set level, and below it, the ad level. So we can choose to edit at any level, edit, 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 or we can do the same kind of like the old user interface, select what we want to edit, the ad, and edit, and now this menu expands out. And I can do the same thing here. Oh, whoops, I wanted to edit the ad set. I can select the ad set right here. Or I could have just clicked edit right here. So we can edit it right from here and publish our updates, close this, and it re-expands this whole thing. So we can go back, oh, we were editing the ad, so we're now on the ad tab, just kind of like this. So it's pretty much the same user interface. So the ads tab, let's go back to the campaigns tab. Okay, and let's collapse those. So other than that, this user interface isn't very different from the old. The old user interface includes the same columns and breakdowns. Columns and breakdowns. If I want to duplicate something, same thing, expand. What do I want to duplicate? The campaign, the ad set, same thing over here duplicate. I can just go to each level, select duplicate. So truly the main difference is the edit function. Yes, we can select or edit here and it expands. So similarly, you just have to toggle at each level, check mark at each level, and then click the edit button to expand this menu. Or you can do it manually up here, expand this menu. So we'll close this edit and just know we will be working from this new user interface throughout the course because Facebook will be updating yours throughout 2020. And make sure to check out courtsenvy.com for more great resources.